What is MPLS? Well, it's an acronym that's short for my pulse, as in my pulse is going up talking about it because it's an amazing technology that makes it a cool time to be alive. Okay, that was really cheesy, but here's what MPLS is. <laughs> Multi-protocol label switching is a way of connecting your sites together. Sometimes it's difficult to talk about because it has different meanings depending if you're talking on the service provider perspective or from a customer's perspective. So I've got, we'll say customer A, and they've got uh, a site with a switch and they've got a couple PCs you know, connecting there. We've got uh, an IP phone that's connected there and they want to bridge that over here to site B, maybe a thousand miles away. And they've got their router and their switch and uh, connected to their computer. I feel like Bob Ross, happy little computer and a happy little IP phone, a little tree over here. And, uh, so, so anyway, this bridges the sites together through the service riders cloud on a private tunnel. So these guys have their own private connection going through that cloud. So let me talk about the customer benefits first. Number one, interface independence. As in this side might be connected with the T1 line. This side over here, maybe he's running a fiber optic connection, uh, Metro Ethernet, 100 megabits or 1,000 megabits per second to that cloud. Uh, maybe up here we add a third site and he bridges in on DSL. Seriously, some service routers support DSL. The beauty is, is you can then bridge all of these sites together, think full mesh, to where all the sites uh, become connected together. This cloud is your cloud. You can set up, it's, it's like just a shared connection. Imagine that this were a big old switch and you could have all these sites connected plugging in to this giant switch and they can all communicate. So that's number one is I can connect in on almost any kind of, of well I shouldn't say almost any kind of connection type that the service provider supports. Huge. Second thing is now you have a one to many to where uh, previously in the old days I would buy a T1 line between my sites and, and by the way when people say that T1 is a measure of speed it's not a connection type but we would say it's 1.544 megabits per second between site A and site B. If I wanted to add another site I'd have to you know link it from site A there's another T1 line and uh, that goes to site C, but site C has to go through site A to get to site B. You see what I mean? Eh, forget that. That's old school. Now with MPLS, we have the ability to fully mesh everybody in this cloud, and it's your cloud. You have the, the power to say, I want all these people to be connected. Or you can talk with a service provider and say, well, I only want this guy to be able to go here because he doesn't need to talk to that site. See what I mean? So that's really cool. The third thing from the customer perspective that you get is quality of service. Now that's huge. And that's one of the differentiators. A lot of people say, well, we bring our, our connections, you know, through uh, internet. We, we have just internet connections at each one of our sites and, uh, and we use VPN technology uh, to connect those sites together. And that's awesome. That's hugely cost beneficial to you. Problem not guaranteed, no quality of service. Also, VPNs add extra header information to where you're adding a lot of header for the encryption to support the encryption to each one of the packets that go across between your sites. Not good for voice over IP. Is it possible? Yes. Can you do it? Yes. Will you get bad calls? Yes. How many? Depends on your service provider. So that's that's really voice over IP over VPN. But when you go over MPLS, now you can tag your packets with certain markings. Some people call them TOS. Some people call them DSCP. And the service router gets those and translates those into MPLS labels. Ah, okay, stop there. So customer benefits are done. You see the benefit to the customer. Let's talk about the service provider. Service providers have the ability to now tag the packets with MPLS labels. Yep, that's a shipping crate that just came up. Imagine shipping something between two locations. If at every single stop, the, the shipping company had to open the box up and look at what's inside to figure out where it's going. Forget that. Instead, they put a label on the box that says uh, this is the destination. They only have to label it one time. And then as it goes from you know site A to site B to site C of FedEx or UPS or whatever shipping company you're using, they just look at the outside label. You never have to open the box till it's done. Now we're at the service rider benefits. The service riders stick an MPLS label 
on the packet as it comes into the cloud, that label tells them exactly where it's going and they even have these things called experimental bits, which really is just a way of translating quality of service tags into that label. So they can tell just by looking at layer two. That's the lowest layer in the OSI model that you can actually put data at. Uh, it's, a, it's a label on the outside of the box so they can be really efficient in sending that thing through the cloud without ever having to open the packet, if you will, looking at layer three, layer four, quality of service data, all of that. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.